we are going to look at how to evaluate functions for a given input. So remember, inputs are your x. So this first one says find the value of the function at 1. So f at 1. So you need to find where x is 1 and read the output. So that would be 2. Question 2 says find f at 4. So f at 4 gives me 8. Second example, f at 0. That's right here. So f at 0 is 1. f at 2. Find 2 in the input, read the output. That would be 7. f at negative 2, negative 5. f at 4 is 13. So once again, we're looking at x and determining y. Now we can also do the same thing with our points in set notation. So f at 3, we need to find the x coordinate of 3. So we actually have 2, we have 6 and we have 10. Find f at 8, that would be negative 1. Here's 8, the y coordinate or the output is negative 1. And then f at 6, where 6 is the input, negative 14 is the output. f at 10, negative 8. f at 16, we're looking at this point right here. If I input 16, I get back out 20. And f at 18 equals negative 100. We can also read from a graph. So f at 1, I need an input of 1. So here's 1 on the x, I need to read up, that would have a value of 4. f at 5, here's 5 on the x, and I need to find y, that would be 3. f at 2, find 2 on the x, read up until you find the y, that would be 5. And finally, f at 4 is right here, when I read up, the output is 1. Okay, f at 1, here's 1, read up, that would be 1, and then f at negative 2, here's negative 2, read up until you intersect, there it is, at 4. f at 1, here it is, read down, and I get negative 20, so you do have to read up or down depending on where the graph is. 10, I need to go up to hit the function, so that would be 10, read across on the y. And f at 6, here's 5, here's 6, read up, and I'm reading over to the y, and that would be 20. So f at 10, I'm reading over and my y would be 10. Thanks for watching.